Hey, it's Rich, the Arizona Wild Man. Today, while I'm redoing my boat here, since I'm doing a complete re-image, stripping it down, I decided that I might as well go ahead and lay an extra layer of glass on top of the hulls on the spots where they wear the most. As you can see with this boat, it used to be a green boat, and where it's brown here, this is the areas where when you're dragging the boat up onto the shore that it drags the most. Arizona is wicked hard on your hulls. This boat's almost 50 years old. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure we're all, uh, we go ahead and lay an extra layer of glass on here. Um, what you wanna do first is make sure you go ahead and strip it all the way down to the fiberglass so you get a good adhesion. I went ahead and I used an 80 grit to go ahead and strip all the paint off of here. We're gonna go ahead, um, lay the glass down, and then we'll go ahead and sand it down with some more 80 grit. And then we'll go ahead and put a little primer on it and then paint the hulls. And then we're gonna also give the uh, tops a nice new paint job as well. The big thing is when you're laying the glass, is to make sure that you cut the mat ahead of time. This is really huge because this is the biggest taskmaster. And if you try and cut this stuff, once you mix up the resin, that stuff's gonna turn hard on you and you're not gonna get anything done. Because once you mix up the resin, you maybe got 10 minutes to work with it before you got a mess of a gel. And then you're taking that out, throwing it away and going ahead and doing a new one. So make sure you have all your mat ahead of time. Typically when you're doing your holes, I find you want to do at least three layers of glass. Uh, anywhere where there's holes, obviously, that's where you really want to concentrate. But otherwise, wherever your wear marks up, you want to go ahead and lay down those three layers of glass. It's just to give yourself extra when you're dragging it up onto the beach in the future. And I uh, figured I might as well just go ahead and build it up. So here we go. We're going to work on some glass. Okay. While you're doing this, you're going to be tempted to go ahead and mix up, mix up way too much. But you really want to do just enough to go ahead and really go ahead and cover your three. Move on, mix a little more, do your next three. So we're going to go ahead and show you how real quick. There's nothing really to this. You're just going to go ahead and take a little plastic cup. And you want to go ahead. We're going to fill it up. Just really about right there. I always buy the extra tube of this stuff so you can use extra, but you're gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 drops. We're gonna use a broken ruler as a stirrer. I stir it up just to make sure that bonding agent gets in there to harden the resin. Take a cheap $1 paintbrush from Home Depot that you're not gonna worry about cleaning. And we're gonna to go to work.
the big thing is really making sure that you have these, the mat cut ahead of time. Because when it's hot out like it is right now, <clears throat> this stuff sets up really fast. You want to keep your brush wet and then it doesn't harden up on you but once you stop using this brush and it dries starts drying you're gonna have yourself a fiberglass brush so you really just have to move fast All right, now unless you're an expert, like the, all the people commenting down below, I'm sure, most of your holes will probably look like this when you get done with fiberglassing them. 